Hi, I'm T. Audio link stuff on avatars is cool and fun and not as hard as it looks, okay? Here's how to do it. You're going to need to use an audio link compatible shader. I'll be using Poyomi 8.1.155. I'm not going to cover how to set up Poyomi here. The documentation covers all the basics you need. Link in the thing. Optional, but very helpful, is the audio link Unity package. This will allow you to test audio link directly in the Unity editor as opposed to building and testing your avatar in VRChat every time you make a change. You can import it directly from the VRChat creator companion or manually download the Unity package from the repo. If you're just using it to test, then the minimal package has everything you need. Link also in the thing. First, we'll get audio link itself set up in our Unity project. Import audio link. It may ask you to check compatibility and update outdated shaders. I hit no thanks here. Let that finish. Then in your project window, scroll down to packages, audio link, runtime, and drag the audio link avatar prefab into the root of your scene hierarchy. Import a test sound or music track into your project and set it as the audio clip for your audio link input. When you hit play, you should hear your track start automatically. You may need to turn up the volume. Now let's configure Poyomi. To keep this tutorial easily digestible, I'm just going to make this material pulse a solid color. So this is really more of a starting point than a comprehensive guide. Under your material, make sure the box next to audio link is checked. Next, under special effects, enable one of the emission slots. Doesn't matter which, they're all the same. Under your emission slot, set the color you want. If you're using an emission map, I recommend just setting this to white. At this point, setting emission strength to one should turn your material that color. If it does, scroll down a bit and enable audio link for your emission slot. Set your emission multiplier min to zero and max to one. If you imported the audio link package earlier, you should see your emissive turn off in the preview. Because Audio Link splits the audio into four bands, Emission Multiplier Band presents you with four options, and the one you select here will determine which frequency band is used to activate your emission. While every genre and song is different, these guidelines should give you a general idea of how the bands will react to certain sounds. Now you can press play and test. Keep in mind that when you exit play mode, Audio Link might remember its last activation state. That about covers it for the basics. I encourage you to experiment with different options and making emission maps to make the effect more interesting. If you're feeling adventurous, AudioLink can also be used to manipulate flipbooks, pathing, iridescence, and probably more. If you need any help, feel free to drop by Sipbox's Discord server and ask in the appropriate channel. That's all for now. See you next time. <laughs>